Welcome back to This Week in Louisiana Politics on your local election headquarters. I'm joined now via FaceTime, U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy, also a physician, so he's here to uh, give us some of his knowledge uh, regarding the COVID-19 uh, health-wise and also in the legislature. Welcome to the show. Thank you for coming on, Senator. Hey, thanks for having me. So we're talking about Louisiana specifically. Obviously, this is the state that you represent. It's uh, considered a hot spot. Uh, why is that? Well, uh, it's easy to imagine that a lot of people came to Louisiana over Mardi Gras, and somebody brought COVID-19. And as people are kind of rubbing shoulders, that rubbing shoulders spread up from one to the other. Now we have an exponential increase. Uh, 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 to my mind, that's probably absolutely what happened. So now it's spreading. And I think both the president's and the governor's orders to avoid congregations, to shelter in place, are just what we need to kind of stop them in the tracks. So, and I'm glad that you mentioned it because we're getting word now, we've confirmed that the pastor up in Central who's been holding uh, his uh, church services, uh, which um, I guess violates the governor's stay-at-home order, uh, is being charged uh, with six counts. Of, uh, these are criminal charges that he now faces uh, because he's holding these gatherings. What's your thoughts on that? So I, I just heard that, don't know details, but the governor obviously asked people to shelter at home. Clearly, congregating spreads the disease. And it may be that the younger person doesn't have symptoms, but they go kiss their mom or their papa, and their mom and their papa can die. It, and it doesn't have to be their mom and their papa. It could be just somebody else who happens to be their age, but is more susceptible. So there is a risk of coming together as a group. Uh, and that's why uh, every place that has been able to flatten the curve, so to speak, has, has stopped those kind of things. Let's have you put on your uh, legislator hat now. We know that a relief bill uh, went through the, the Senate and it uh, went through the House as well, and the President signed it. This relief bill, as we know it's been widely reported, will send uh, checks out to individuals. But I want to kind of uh, drill down on these uh, small businesses that are affected, because these impacts are going to go on for quite some time, and it's a huge economic impact on small businesses. What sort of things uh, are in place in that bill that will help these small businesses? Strong encouragement for these businesses to remain intact throughout their, this rough patch. An expedited way to borrow money from the Small Business Administration. A small business can borrow up to two and a half times their average monthly payroll, up to $10 million total. The portion of the loan that they use for payroll, rent, mortgage, or utilities will be forgiven as well. So let me repeat that. The, the portion of the SBA loan used for rent, mortgage, payroll, or utilities is forgiven as rent. And whereas formerly only a few banks could offer these, the Treasury Department is going to open it up to as many banks as wish to almost so that you can borrow from the bank you normally borrow from. So, and it could be done online. I'll repeat that. Trying to make it so these small businesses get through this rough patch, keeping people employed, keeping workforce intact. So when we come through it, they're ready to go. When could individuals see that check coming in the mail? Mnuchin, Treasury Secretary, says as soon as the end of the first week of April. I like that because um, uh, I like that because uh, a lot of bills come due first weeks. I should also point out some people did not file taxes last year because they had no income. You can go to irs.gov and file an amended return for last year reporting zero as your income. If you do that, then you would qualify. Um, I'm also asked, is this available for retirees and the unemployed? Yes, it is. Wow. Do, uh, is there a, a, a portal or a website for small businesses to go to to learn more about these loans? Yeah, so you can go to our website, cassidy.senate.gov, cassidy.senate.gov. There's a little banner out at the top. Click on that, and you can get information about different aspects of it, whether it's an individual, uh, a small business, a big business, or a health entity. We have all the stuff you need to know. There. All right, great information. U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.